Hello, and thank you for joining us for the National Catholic College Admission Association Virtual College Fair. Before we start with our presenters, I'd like to go over some housekeeping. As you're entering, you may notice that your camera and microphone are off. You are still able to interact with our presenters using the Q&A feature. If you have a specific question for one college, please include the name of the college in your question. This session will be recorded and will be available for later viewing towards the end of this week on our website at strivescan.com slash NCCAA. Thank you again for joining us. And at this time, we will start with the first institution, Gonzaga University. Hello everyone, my name is Claire Silva from Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington. We are a Catholic Jes Jesuit university and a big part of who we are and a part of our mission is educating students for lives of leadership and service for the common good. So that's definitely integrated into a Gonzaga education. You will have opportunities to engage in service and social justice work and definitely is at the forefront of who we are. Uh, this is the front entrance of our campus. We are a medium-sized school, so we have just over 5,000 undergrads. You get that big school feel. We're very involved in community and extracurriculars and clubs and sports, and students are really engaged in the Gonzaga community, both on campus and, um, and outside off campus. Uh, and then you get the great thing is that you get that big school feel, but you also get personal attention in the classroom with average class size being 22. 99% um, of Gonzaga students receive financial aid and or merit scholarships. So our students are very well supported financially. And we are uh, over 82% of our students are from over 200 miles away. So we're not a commuter campus. People are on campus on the weekends. There's things to do, people to hang out with. Um, and it's a really strong community at Gonzaga. Uh, and it's it, you're not going to be, if you're coming from far away, you'll definitely have opportunities. Um, and lots of different things to do on the weekends. We really want to support our students. We have many different offices to help support you be successful at Gonzaga um, through our Center for Academic Success that provides tutoring and um, strategies to help students be better at time management. Or those are examples. We also have a great first year experience program that helps our students transition from high school to college. So really preparing students to find success and have opportunities to do to utilize offices that provide that those um, things for students to be successful on our campus. Um, we I mentioned average class size really at Gonzaga students come first our professors focus on the students that's why we rank in the top five percent for undergraduate teaching I mentioned that small class size our professors really focus on mentorship and helping students get involved in research um, so those types of opportunities to build relationships with your professors is definitely uh, something that you will get at Gonzaga um, we have a 92% retention rate, and that is during COVID that we rank very highly nationally for that. So that means not a lot of students, our students are transferring. Uh, we really want students to, to be su supported and make the right decision, make Gonzaga the right decision if it is right for you academically, socially, and financially before you make the decision to come to Gonzaga. We want you to have all that information up front to make sure it is the right place for you. Um, we have a 94% success rate. So our students are very well prepared for what comes next. 94% of our students are either employed, furthering their education in master's or PhD programs, or in service programs like the Peace Corps or the Jesuit Volunteer Corps, um, even military service. We have great career preparation through our Center for Career and Professional Development to help you get to what, what comes next. We have over 70, uh, actually one of, um, we have a uh, study abroad is huge at Gonzaga. About 60% of our students study abroad. We actually have a campus in Florence, Italy, um, but we have programs in over 40 different countries and uh, 60 different programs to choose from. All of your financial aid and scholarships apply. We have summer programs, semester programs, and year-long programs. 
We really want our students to get a global experience. We have over 75 programs of study within five different schools that are listed here. We have the College of Arts and Sciences, School of Business Administration, um, School of Education, School of Engineering and Applied Science, and the School of Nursing and Human Physiology. Our programs focus on hands-on learning. Um, all, all programs have internship opportunities where you can get academic credit for them, research opportunities in the social sciences and the sciences. Um, we have direct admission into our nursing program, and we also have a one, our, our last year, our students had a 100% pass rate on the NCLEC exam for our nursing students to get your RN. Um, but direct ent entry for engineering and nursing. Our business school is ranked in the top 25% for business undergraduate business schools. Um, and the great thing about School of Ed, if you're thinking about education, is our programs are is NK accredited. So all of our, uh, you can teach in any state uh, after graduation, wherever you come from. Life on campus, we have huge community. We get four seasons in Spokane. Spokane is in Eastern Washington. A lot of people think rain, but we actually get four solid seasons, a lot more sunny days than cloudy, gloomy days. We have over 130 clubs and organizations. We have academic clubs, political clubs, service clubs, cultural clubs, tons of ways to get involved and meet people who have similar interests as you. Um, we have club sports. We have intramural sports. We have uh, a great outdoors program if you're into outdoor sports. So there's uh, many ways to, to find people and connect uh, in different ways. And there's no one size fits all like on Zaga in regards to who goes where. Um, we are the Bulldogs. A lot of people call us the Zags. We, this is students waiting in line for Gonzaga basketball. All students get free tickets to all of our Division I games. We also offer uh, club sports, intramural and intramural sports. Um, all are competitive, but also recreational and anybody really can be involved. Um, we are located in Spokane, Washington. Uh, it's the second largest city in the state. This is our campus here. Downtown is about a 10 or 15 minute walk. So the city is super accessible. The airport is only 15 minutes away. We are a direct, uh, we use the common application to apply. We have one deadline, December 1st. Um, and so please uh, apply just by December 1st. And then please know that Gonzaga really supports our students financially. Uh, we have uh, additional scholarships. We have, so please check out our scholarships website and that gives you additional information um, about merit scholarships, but also application-based scholarships. I want to make sure I'm mindful of time. My name again is Claire Silva. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have in the chat. I'll put some links in the chat to help you find more information, but thanks for taking part of your Sunday to listen and learn more about Gonzaga. Thank you, Gonzaga. I just wanted to remind students they can use the Q&A feature to also ask questions directly to our presenters this evening. Up next, we have Caldwell University. Bear with me, just putting up everything into present mode. Why is it not giving present mode? Focus. There it is. Present. All right, so hi guys, my name is Jada Cox. I am an admissions counselor at Caldwell University. Um, just a little bit about Caldwell. Caldwell University is in Caldwell, New Jersey. Um, Caldwell, New Jersey, the city was actually voted one of the best places to live. Universities is off the main avenue, so everything is pretty accessible to our students, probably about a five minute walk off campus. Um, outside of the scope of the city, we have malls, parks, um, a few museums, MetLife Stadium, and we're 45 minutes outside of New York City and about two, uh, one hour and actually 45 minutes outside of Philly. So we're close to both major cities um, in the metro. A little bit about our Catholic identity. We were founded by the Sisters of St. Dominic. Um, we actually just celebrated Founders Day about two weeks ago. Um, so tradition is pretty big on our campus. Um, some of the pillars we stand by is we stand by prayer. Um, we usually have every Sunday, we have some kind of mass. We also, in normal conditions, the students have an organization. They actually sing at most of our masses too. Um, as well as joining a part in the ceremonies that go on in our chapel space or other spaces that we hold any ceremonies in. Studies, the next biggest thing, most of all of our chapels are used alternatively as anything the students want on our campus. So if you wanted to study, it's more than welcome to. We actually just built one um, of the Newman Center Chapel, which is brand new. A lot of students go in there to study, but that is probably the second biggest thing on our campus. 
community, we are very big. We're a small university, so community is everything, especially because we have a good chunk of our students that are international. So a lot of our students, Caldwell is their new community. They're no more, they're not able to go home, especially with COVID-19. A good chunk of my international students, they have become kind of naturalized Caldwellians because they don't go home. They kind of stay with us year round now in the pandemic. Service is our last biggest thing. Um, normal conditions, we probably do about seven to eight different service trips a semester. So the biggest two is usually the midnight run and the Belize service trip, where usually our president accompanies the students down to Belize and they help to build houses and community service activities within some of the towns we are affiliated with down there. So that's just a little bit about our Catholic identity. Now moving on to the second biggest thing, like I said, study. Our programs of study, we have over 32 different programs of study. Um, we're a liberal arts college, so we kind of have anything. We even have interdisciplinary tracks that students can take up, meaning that if you have something that is not here, but it's kind of a combination of the two, just let us know and we'll try to build you out some. We are very big in the medical health is, uh, affiliation programs too. If you're interested in something that's a combined program where you're going into medical, we have those just access and we'll definitely direct you to the appropriate programs. Some of our top programs on our campus is nursing. Um, our nursing passing rate was a 93% the last time we were in board. Um, biology and health affiliations, like I said, we have a salute. We have over seven different types of so whichever one you're looking to do, we have it. Psychology, um, usually the, the two most unique ones that we have is applied behavioral analysis and art in, in psychology, which transitions into our therapy program. So you're looking to kind of have a school where you can track your psychology program. We have art therapy as undergrad, and then I mean art and psychology as undergrad, and then art therapy as grad and criminal justice, of course. Um, we actually have a, a very large community of cops from the early 2000s that actually got degrees from us. And we kind of continue to have a great train record with that with a lot of students now starting from high school, having that dream of coming to Caldwell to accomplish it. The greater thing about being a small institution is that we're able to offer a lot of services to our students. And because of that, we're able to make sure 98% of our students are recently graduated students are either employed in grad school or just participating in any kind of service projects, um, projects with the university. Some of our students stay and they may do work with some of the faculty, especially if they're science majors. And like I said, small universities, so we're able to really personalize what you need. So if you need career development, we have that. You just make an appointment. You need tutoring, also available. Advisement, which is going to help the students set up your schedule and study abroad. In normal conditions, we do usually have study abroad options, and we're able to personalize it. So if you want to go to a particular country, you can always just access us, and we'll try to see if we have any affiliation. Um, our accessibility services, if you have any type of um, learning disabilities that you would like to present and, and have some kind of cap to your education, we have that service on our campus. You would just let us know and we can definitely make any type of arrangements for your coursework. We are 50-50 campus, so half the students who stay on campus, half the students who commute, but parking is free for all of our students, laundry is free for our residential students, and their community engagements we offer to all of our students. So if you're looking to really be able to not feel like, hey, I'm a commuter, I'm separate from the residential population, we do a great job at that. We keep it very 50-50 in normal circumstances. You, all the students kind of just mesh together very well on our campus. So some of the community things, we do have multicultural fraternity and sororities, over three different clubs. Um, our student population, like I said, we have a good chunk of international students. They represent about 42 different countries. Um, so 7% of that is our international population. We were named a Hispanic Serving Institute, about 27% of our population does um, identify Hispanic, and 68% of our overall student population identifies as students of color. Like I said, some service trips is the service day in um, our service days and our NYC midnight run, as well as our Belize trip. Um, we're a very small community, but we try to make sure that we put as much diversity and much opportunities for students as possible. We are a D2 school. We have 16 different sports we decided. Um, actually, tumbling is not on this list, but we have tumbling. So that's definitely something you can do. And we have slews and tons of different ways that you can afford us, including grants and scholarships, loans, work study, and including talent scholarships, your traditional merits, and of course, an athletic scholarship if you go up for it. And when it comes to us, what we're looking for is test scores, but you can go test optional, two letters of recommendation, a transcript, and a personal statement, all included within either Common App or you can sign via 
called call pro emissions application. Um, some new programs, we have a BS in psychology, pre-pharmacy. We just opened our esports competitive arena. We went test optional. We have a new fitness center, the Newman Center Chapel, as well as our mural arts center. And we do have a Starbucks. If you would like to stay in contact, please contact us via, we have Instagram, both our Caldwell and our admissions, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, our website. And of course, you can always reach out to me personally, but thank you. And that is going to be the end of my presentation. Thank you, Caldwell University. Up next, we have Benedictine College. Hello, everyone. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, perfect. Hello, everyone. Like I said, um, my name is Caroline Weiss from Benedictine College. Um, we're a small Catholic rural arts school located in Atchison, Kansas. So um, we have a student body of about 2,000 students. And we have several um, master's programs, graduate programs, and 50 different um, undergraduate majors that um, can be a part of. So I'll explain a little bit about that later. Um, so this is kind of a bit of a view of, of campus. Um, we are a smaller um, institution, but we're listed on the new guide list. So this is a list of about 10 to 12 different schools that are known for being authentically Catholic um, and are um, listed on this list. Um, and there's a view of our campus. So we do have one of the top five um, major campus ministry programs in, in the United States um, located on a college campus. So we have over 12 different um, ministry programs that we offer from chapel team, stewardship team, retreat team, choir team, all of those different options that our students are involved in and actually can be scholarship in and use that as kind of a work study position. Um, our campus Catholic life is very, very important to us. And um, we are a faithful Catholic um, institution, which is what the human guide list is essentially all about. We are also the largest private college in the state of Kansas. So located here um, in this picture that you're seeing is actually um, a picture of our main academic quad. So um, our, our um, campus is very beautiful, um, very widespread out, even though our campus uh, student body size it is, of course, essentially a, on the smaller side with 2,000 students undergrad. Um, we actually have a very um, a large campus. Um, so there's um, usually about a little bit of a surprise for our, our prospective female. Families. Um, so we do have a, a wide diversity and range of students that are um, involved in, and live on campus. So like I said, just under 2,000 students, and we have an international um, body of students as well that are from about um, over 20 different countries. And we've been maintaining that during COVID, which has been amazing as well. 75% of our students actually come from out of state. Um, so there is a diversity there. Um, and then just a little bit about our mission, um, which I think is really strong at Benedictine. So um, we we do to educate our our um, students in a community of faith and scholarship. Um, and within that, this this mission is supported by our four pillars. So um, first pillar being that we are an authentically Catholic college. Um, so we were founded by um, the the monks of St. Benedict, um, and their abbey is actually right in the center of campus, home to about 30 different monks. These monks are um, professors, spirit directors, priests, and um, they're very involved in, in the student body. Some of them are even students as well. Um, so that kind of filters into our Benedictine uh, mission. So like I said, we were funded by them, um, and it is very um, alive on campus, if you will. So um, we are also a liberal arts institution. So our engineering majors, our architecture majors, they're also going to be taking inter theology. They're going to take a philosophy course. They're going to take science courses. Um, so our students are well-rounded, um, which makes them very attractive for, for the future and for um, outside of Benedict life as well. We are a residential campus. So 75% um, of our students live on campus. We are not a commuter campus. Um, students aren't going home on the weekend. So majority of our students, of course, do come from Kansas, from local areas. But like I said, 75% of our students come from out of state. So this is very important to us that we're having a community um, that is on campus. Um, I guarantee you the first first thing that students, a current student would say their favorite part about Benetton is would be the community life. So with that, you can kind of see the location of where Atchison, Kansas is, about 45 minutes north of Kansas City. Uh, and it's honestly located right in the smack dab middle of the country. So 
this is a little bit of a view of um, our surrounding areas like Atchison, Kansas City. Uh, so we have uh, quite a few rural areas and, and big city areas near us in Kansas City. So for being a small Catholic um, Newman Guide School, um, we do offer quite a few majors that um, we've actually been focusing on our growth quite a bit lately. So um, essentially, um, our most popular majors, um, our, our first one is business for sure. Our second most popular one is our education school. Um, our third is theology. Our fourth is nursing. And our fifth is, is definitely engineering. So we have all five engineering accredited here on campus, which, like I said, is it speaks to the volume of, of the strength of our academics. Um, but you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one time with your teachers and your faculty. Um, our our student-faculty ratio is about 14 to 1. So you're going to expect to have about 14 students in your class in your classes with you um, and um, that's a very important part of, of our education and academics. With that, we also have a campus in Florence, Italy. So we are a member of ISEP. So you do have options to go to about over 25 different countries to study abroad. Our most popular option at Benedictine is definitely campus in Florence. So um, you take, you go abroad, you take a full semester of classes, any major um, can go abroad. And um, we offer about, um, we offer programs in the fall, spring, and summer. Right now, we actually have students over there. So that's really incredible. They're off in February, um, and there's about 25 students studying over there, too. Um, they, we own the, the whole campus, and we have professors over there. Um, and it's like right out of Florence, Italy. It's a beautiful campus. So we do um, offer quite a bit of financial aid. This is a very strong aspect of Benedict. And like I mentioned before, we are founded in a community of faith and scholarship. 100% of our students accept financial aid. Um, our academic scholarships range from $10,000 to $18,000. Every single student that's admitted to Benedict receives an academic scholarship. Um, we have several different opportunities within the FESFA um, and, and other scholarship opportunities. With that, like I mentioned before, our liberal arts education allows our students to be very well informed and ready outside of campus. Um, so our alumni program is very strong as well. So I'll go ahead and go to my contact information. Um, I highly recommend coming to, to visit campus. That's the number one thing I recommend. Um, and you can apply online through our Com app and through our website. Thank you very much for listening. And there is my contact. I put it in the chat as well. Thank you. Up next, we have University of Scranton. All right, hello everyone. Um, my name is Jessica Estrella. I'm an admissions counselor here at the University of Scranton. Uh, and we are a proud Catholic and Jesuit university located here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. That's Northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, we were founded in 1888 at St. Thomas College. And in 1942, we were entrusted into the Society of Jesus, making us one of the 27 Jesuit colleges in the nation. Uh, so as I mentioned, we are a proud Catholic and Jesuit university. Uh, and really our Jesuit philosophy is rooted in a Latin phrase called care personalis, which translates to care of the whole person. So we define that as the individual attention we devote to each and every one of our students here on our campus, which really helps to foster a commitment not only to academic excellence, but an education and a growth of the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. Uh, so on your screens, you'll see a few fast facts about our university. Uh, in terms of our overall size, we are a smaller to medium-sized university with about 3,800 undergraduate students total. Uh, that translates to about 940 to 960 students students in each incoming first year class. Uh, it may sound like a large number if you're coming from a smaller high school, but it's a really nice happy medium. As you'll see, our average class size is 20 students, uh, and we have a student to faculty ratio of 13 to 1, um, so you, you never have to worry about being in a big lecture style classroom here at the university. Uh, all of our professors do provide uh, that one-on-one -on -one attention uh, you know, that students need. Uh, so in terms of academics, we do have a nice variety of different majors, minors, grad programs, and concentrations. We do uh, split up all of our academic programs into three academic colleges. We have our colleges, our College of Arts and Sciences, which encompasses all of our science-related majors, uh, as well as humanities, so things like history, philosophy, even uh, communication, criminal justice. Uh, and then we have our Kanya School of Management, which encompasses all of our business-related majors, uh, everything from marketing, accounting, entrepreneurship, uh, and more. 
And lastly, we have our Paniska College of Professional Studies, which encompasses all of our helping professions, as we call them. So majors like nursing, occupational therapy, uh, our uh, kinesiology program, uh, our new program, communication sciences and disorders, uh, education, counseling and human services, and more than that. Uh, now, no matter what academic college you're in, you can still absolutely um, double major or minor in a few different subjects that are even in different academic colleges. So you definitely have that flexibility here. Uh, we do have two advisory programs, pre-health and pre-law. So these are programs that'll help you get into uh, a medical school of your choice or law school of your choice. It'll really prepare you to get into that top pre-professional school of your choice. We also do have faculty student research here on our campus, uh, which students of all majors can engage in as early as their first semester of their first year. In terms of what we have going on on campus, we do have over 80 clubs and organizations students can partake in, everything from academic affiliated clubs to more special interest clubs. For example, we have a gaming club, knitting club, uh, anime club, and even more than that, we also have student government, two acapella teams, two theater clubs. Uh, students could sign up for as many clubs and organizations as they'd like. In the beginning of each semester, there's always a big club fair on our campus, but if a student can't make it for a club fair, they could always join any club or organization they would like right through their student portals. So it's very easy to get involved early on. Uh, we do have over 900 events each year, ranging from on-campus events. So every Thursday through Saturday night, we always have a late night event going on. We do a number of annual events each year as well, such as a Christmas tree lighting in the fall. Uh, in the spring, we always have this one big event called Spring Fest. It's almost like a college student field day. Uh, and then in the traditional year, we have a number of off-campus trips as well. Um, so anywhere from a trip to Dornier or Hershey Park, or maybe to go to Philadelphia to see a Phillies game, or to New York City to see a Broadway show. So there is always a lot going on on our campus for our students to partake in. Uh, now, some of that is involved with our uh, sports teams here. Uh, we are a Division Three Landmark Conference School, and we have 23 men's and women's varsity teams. Uh, in the chat after I finish, I'll put a link to our athletics page. Uh, but if you don't want to play a varsity sport, we do have a nice array of club and intramural sports as well. Um, so those are always a really good option for students who want to stay involved with the sport, but maybe uh, you know need something that's a little bit bit less time commitment. Even if you don't play a varsity sport here, uh, our, uh, our, our school spirit here is really strong. We're always supporting uh, our Scranton Royals, so it's always great to go to a game. Now, in terms of applying on the screen, you'll see our accepted student profile for GPA and test scores. Uh, these are just the ranges, uh, the middle 50% of the students that we've uh, accepted. We definitely accept 25% below these ranges as well as above these ranges. Uh, we do super score both the SAT and ACT. So definitely when the time comes to apply, send us all of your scores. Our system will automatically super score and your highest possible score is the only one we'll use to evaluate you uh, both for admission as well as any merit-based scholarships. Uh, now we are traditional test optional school. Um, so as long as you have a, really a GPA of a 3.0 or above, uh, you should be good to go to apply test optional if you'd like, uh, as long as you're not applying for one of our three most competitive programs, which are nursing, occupational therapy, and our doctorate physical therapy, as well as our education programs uh, and any accelerated graduate programs. Uh, but besides that, could go test optional. Uh, and we are on the Common App. We're free to apply to. So the Common Application is the way you will apply. You do not have to worry about fee waivers because it is free to apply through the Common App. Uh, our most important deadline is our early action deadline, which is November 15th. Um, but besides that, we're pretty much rolling admission with a preferred deadline of March 1st. Uh, now, if you want to stay in touch, uh, feel free to uh, screenshot this page here. You're more than welcome to contact me, but we do also have uh, on-campus visits you can sign up for, uh, as well as a number of virtual visits throughout the week, uh, and also keep in touch on social media. But I'll also be throwing links to our view book, uh, as well as our athletics page and financial aid brochure in the chat below. Thank you. Up next, we have Viterbo University. I guess I should start from the beginning. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining uh, this afternoon or evening. So my name is Hua and I'm from uh, Viterbo University. I'm one of the mission counselor there. 
So I just wanted to share at a glance, um, if you were to Google Viterbo University in across Wisconsin, these are the things that comes up. So Viterbo has 100% placement um, with that uh, placement rate. What that means is that pretty much all our students who finish after four years either get a job, get into graduate school or the military service because we do have our ROTC program here on campus. We're just shy of 3,000 students every year. Um, we like being a small campus. We find that's really helpful for our students um, as they continue their growth throughout the four year uh, on campus. Average class size is about 16, and then we have over, four, um, over 40 academic program on campus. Um, as a small institution, we have an 11 to 1 ratio between students and faculty. And then a third of our students are athletes. And so um, our faculty and even staff are really mindful of all the different things students do as athletes or even some of the extracurricular um, activities they are involved in. The next slide here is quite busy, but um, I'm gonna break it down for you and hopefully you can follow with me. Um, so some of um, our areas of interest are pre-health, um, we have a STEM um, programs as well. We have nursing, health and human behaviors, um, and that is social work, psychology, criminal and community justice. We have business and leadership. So some of the business majors are finance, accounting, business and management, sport uh, management as well. And then we also have performing arts, which includes our BFA music theater program. Um, we are in the top 30 for music theater program. We have performing arts, um, so vocal performance are also instrumental as well. And then we do have an art major. We have education and then we have hum humanity in languages. And so humanity are like philosophy, theology, um, and also some of the language are like Spanish. Some of, the, some of the things that makes Berturbo different from other institutions is we are top test optional. Um, and so all we require for students to, um, when applying, is a high school transcript. We have a four-year guaranteed program, which is launched last year, which pretty much means that students will actually sign a contract with us. And there are um, certain guidelines we have students do to make sure that they finish in four years. If the students uh, follow the guidelines and don't finish in four years, the next semester is free on us. In the fall of 2021, we're excited to launch our, commu our computer science program. And then in the spring of 2021, we will be graduating our first cohort of engineering students too. So we're lots of exciting things happening um, on campus. We have our BFA options, kind of like what I talked about, and then some of our recent um, majors that we included on campus are neuroscience, sport management, and technology education. At Viterbo, we're very high impact um, with practices to help prepare our students for their career across all major. These, some of these include clinicals, financial stimulation lab, or different lab areas to help students. And then we have lots of internship opportunity as well as research. And then we actually have um, lots of different study opportunity for students, whether that's for a class um, that goes out um, for a week and a half, or even to, for students who want to study for uh, up to a year in another country. We, are, we're found, we were founded by the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetua Adoration, and so we still uh, highly consider some of the core values that they have in, um, inputted on us. And so as part of our curriculum, we have some value-based seminar courses that really surround the students around um, in teaching them about ethics and serving the community. Our hope is that our students can um, continue to live a very perfectable um, life after us. And then some of the um, graduate programs we have on campus are education, nursing, nutrition science, and community medical dietetic. We have an MBA program. We have a mental health counseling uh, master program as well as a servant leadership. And then we have some of the other doctoral course, um, programs such as counselor education supervision. Um, for all incoming students, they receive a, a merit scholarship starting from $10,000 to $15,000. And then we also offer other scholarship to really help um, our students with financial support. And then lastly, feel free to stay in touch. Um, but Purple is on all social media platform. I'm gonna be putting my um, contact information in the chat as well as a um, 
a link that you can get information from Vertebral or at least connect with us. Thank you. Thank you, Viterbo. Up next, we have Merrimack College. Hi, everyone. My name is Christine Carroll with Merrimack College. So let me just get this going for you all. Um, so Merrimack is located in North Andover, Massachusetts. So we are just about 25 minutes north of Boston. So we're kind of sandwiched right in between Boston and the New Hampshire border. So a really great location in terms of being able to get to the access that everything Boston has to offer. We're not far from the airport, so you can easily get to us from wherever. Um, you know, there's a huge area of, you know, interest with technology, with the biosciences, with business, uh, you know, finance, all in kind of the heart of, of the city, which is really accessible to our students. Uh, this is a look at our campus from above. So even though we have great access to the city, we are very much a residential suburban campus. So you do kind of get that best of both worlds of access to the city for everything that it has to offer. Obviously, Boston is known for being a big college town. It's a really young city. Um, so it's a lot of great energy uh, when school is in session. But again, you do have that kind of traditional campus feel uh, with the brick buildings, rolling green space. Uh, we're about just over 4,200 students undergrad on campus and about another um, nearly 800 graduate students or about a mid-sized school. Um, we have been growing a lot over the past couple of years and we continue to see that growth as well. Um, and in terms of average class size, our average class size is 22. It's a 15 to one student faculty ratio. Uh, so we really, again, have that kind of mid-sized campus where you have a lot of options, but you can still have that smaller classroom experience and really get to know your faculty. It's not uncommon for our students to text their faculty or send them a quick email being like, hey, I have a question about this. Can we set up a time? Uh, it, we really want you to be able to interact with them. Uh, in terms of academic programs, you have over 100 different academic programs through five different schools, uh, over 60 different activities that students can be a part of from different clubs and groups, um, and Division I athletics. Uh, so there's a lot of things for you to do on campus. You know, our student body is extremely involved and we are also very much a residential campus. So 70% of our students live on campus. We guarantee housing all four years. Um, and even whether it's our students who live, literally come from other countries or our students who grew up down the street, uh, majority of our students, like I said, do take advantage of that residential experience. Uh, and we are a Catholic Augustinian school. We are actually only one of two Augustinian schools in the country. So kind of a little fun fact. Uh, and we were founded in 1947 under the GI Bill. So we were founded particularly for returning World War II veterans. So that very much plays a part in kind of our school and our mission. Um, a big service opportunity that we do every year is around the Veterans Day holiday. It's called Mac Gives Back. Literally over a thousand members of the campus community will do various service projects throughout the greater Boston um, area. And we time it with Veterans Day to kind of honor our mission. So honoring those who served by serving others to kind of give you a little idea. Um, our student body comes from 34 different states, 35 countries, and we're pretty close, almost 50-50 split between our male and female students, which is, is kind of unique for a college of our size. Um, so I mentioned we have over 100 different academic programs, and this is the breakdown of schools. So we have our Gerard School of Business, which is our largest school on campus. We have our Winston School of Education and Social Policy, which also includes our criminology program. We have our School of Liberal Arts, as which also is the home to our Discover program. And Discover is for all of those of you who may be still undecided. You know, you're not sure what major you want. That is completely normal and completely fine. Here at Merrimack, you can very much come in undecided, and then you'll work with an academic academic advisor who will help you know get you to that point of making a decision while still keeping you track for graduation. We have our School of Health Sciences, which also includes our three plus two direct entry um, athletic training master's program, as well as our direct entry nursing program. And then we have our School of Science and Engineering. Uh, I think one of the things that makes Merrimack really unique is the high touch of academic, excuse me, services that we have. So we have our Academic Success Center. It's in the whole entire top floor of our library. And it's really, <coughs> excuse me, it's really a one-stop shop for all things academic. So whether it's tutoring center, writing center, math center, all of those things you'll need 
also all of our various academic success programs. So we really have an academic success, um, academic program for pretty much all GPA levels. Anywhere from our honors and dean's forum programs, which are for like our, our higher GPAs, to other programs for students who might fall kind of below our academic average. We really have something for everyone. Another really interesting thing about us is our uh, advising model. So when you come to campus, every student gets three advisors who are dedicated to you and will stay with you your whole four years. One is your academic advisor. So this is gonna be a professor who's going to help you choose classes, make sure you're staying on track for graduation, answering questions about should you take this class if you're gonna to go to graduate school or you know, should I add a minor? How do I double major? Um, so they're really there to help you with that. Then we have our academic success coaches. So this is really your go-to person. They're gonna be with you all four years. And especially when you're a freshman, they're an amazing person to turn to when you need help kind of figuring out this whole college thing. You know, How do I find tutoring resources? How do I talk to my professor if I need learning accommodations? Uh, where is the, you know, what are the dining hall hours or where do I go for the registrar office? Again, it could literally be anything and everything. It could be academics, stuff, social, it really is just kind of working with you. And then everyone gets a career advisor. And so your career advisor, again, is going to start working with you day one, pretty much freshman year, to really help you figure out what that career path looks like. These are some of the places where we've had interns, as well as we've also had alumni. So again, a lot of recognizable names and many in the Boston area. Um, but you can do internships, you know, all over. We've had students even do internships abroad. Uh, and then finally, a little bit of our application process. So we are all on the common application. It's a free application. Um, we are a test optional school, so we do not require them at all. We even went test optional for nursing this year due to COVID and we anticipate remaining test optional for nursing as well. Um, with a pretty simple process, um, your application, your high school transcript, letter of recommendation, and then your secondary school report. And that's a little bit about Merrimack. Again, I am here. Thank you for bearing with me with my little coughing fit for there for a second. Um, but again, I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, and if you happen to be in the Boston area, we're open for tours. So we would love to have you. Thank you. Thank you to all the panelists. Uh, this concludes this virtual session. So as you are exiting, you will be presented with a quick four question survey. Uh, please complete it. Your feedback is always welcome. And the recording for tonight's session will be available on our website at strivescan.com slash NCCAA. Thank you again for joining us and we wish you the best of luck during your college search. <laughs>